I write computer programs that realize abstract art. In particular, I created the electric sheep and their dreams in high fidelity with a cyborg mind composed of 60,000 computers and people. This is our story. In the summer of 1992, I invented a visual language that launched my career and spawned a genre. The technique leaves behind the metaphors of the brush and object. Instead, the image emerges from the application of supercomputer power to the resonance between geometric transformations. The result crosses the line from digital into the organic. The next year, on the nascent World Wide Web, I released a gallery of images and code distributed as free software under the GPL. This is perhaps the first instance of open source visual art. At the same time, I submitted several of these flame images to the Pre-Ars Electronica and received an honorable mention that summer. As time passed, the code spread. Plugins appeared for standard programs such as Photoshop, After Effects, and the GIMP. It's now used by artists of many stripes. The flame style appears in print and web, movies and television, VJ performances, and on museum walls all over the world. Sometimes with credit, sometimes without. It has become part of our cultural visual landscape and library. I have a PhD in computer science specializing in metaprogramming, a subfield of artificial intelligence involving programming languages and abstraction. Similarly, my primary artwork is meta-art. Rather than creating specific images, I create a process, a language, and enable anybody to use it for their own creations. Throughout the 90s, I created prize-winning interactive digital art. I also started working as a VJ doing live performance with my software as well as traditional mixing and sampling. But computers were, and still are, incapable of realizing in real time the more painterly images that interest me. So in 1999, I implemented a new idea, a render farm linking together thousands of personal computers into a virtual supercomputer. This project, the Electric Sheep Distributed Screensaver, is based on an expanded version of the original Flame algorithm, with a design process opened up to the public. This participatory artwork treats the visual language as a genetic code and then applies evolution driven by audience voting. In this virtual space, user-generated content collaborates and competes with an artificial intelligence to create a seamless, abstract animation. An Android dream. Creative Commons licensing makes it a resource to the public, a kind of digital fountain from which anyone can drink. The electric sheep were curated into the website for design and the elastic mind, permanently hosted on MoMA.org. In 2006, I began producing limited edition works with this system. These are large databases consisting of hand-picked designs rendered at much higher resolution and slower motion. The result is like a painting that evolves. They are delivered on a small computer and appear as an infinite animation on LCD or projection. This series of works, Dreams in High Fidelity, is the central subject of this documentary. The hi-fi dreams can take many forms, from large-scale projections at performances and onto dancers and musicians, to intimate flat-screen displays. One is in the lobby at Google's headquarters. Others are in private collections nationally. Our most recent public installation in downtown Manhattan had three HD projectors, immersing the unique 60-foot entryway for two weeks. The piece shown there, Hi-Fi Dreams Number 2, has a 100-gigabyte high-def video database. It takes a regular computer hours to render each frame of video 
and there are 1,000 minute-long clips connected together in a graph to form a true nonlinear video experience. Hundreds of years of computer work and untold human attention is distilled into this small black slab of electronics. The database is guaranteed for life from the artist's files. Beyond that, the playback computer is easy to back up, restore, or recreate since it's based on open source and commodity components. Feel free to contact me for more information or to arrange a demo. Thank you for your attention.